Six months ago, the government appointed Lord Warner to act as an independent children's commissioner for Birmingham. His job? To help improve children's services across the city, which have been officially rated as inadequate for the past five years. Well, he's with me now to give us an update on his progress. But first of all, Joan Cummins reports on the challenges the service is facing. These are the faces of just some of the children killed in Birmingham. The shocking circumstances of their short lives whilst being overseen by Birmingham Social Services prompted the government appointment of Lord Warner earlier this year. What we need to do now is work together, find the talent in the department, help that talent flourish and make sure that there is corporate ownership. You can never solve the problems of a social services department just by concentrating on that department. But that culture change hasn't been easy. In August, Bernadette McNally announced she'd be honoured to lead children's services. But in October, even before she started the job, she said she was no longer interested. Today, on the eve of the publication of Birmingham's plans for cuts across the city, the director of People defended their poor recruitment of social workers in a streamed debate with the safeguarding board. I am determined that social workers can only have a fair workload. If we don't give them a fair workload and we continue being known as a place where you're going to get unreasonable demands put upon you, we will never recruit in this competitive workforce. With cuts imminent and a poor reputation to overcome, the future of Birmingham Social Services is far from clear. Joan Cummings, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. And Birmingham's Independent Commissioner for Children, Lord Warner, is here now. So, uh, good evening to you, Lord Warner. Good what, evening. What's happened in the six months? What, what about this development plan? Well, the good news is, I think, that Birmingham now, as a city council, has a three-year improvement plan, which has been registered with the Department for Education, and there's been, certainly been an acceptance that that is a credible plan. The other good news is that the leader, the cabinet minister, the chief executive and Peter Hay, the strategic director for people, have accepted their collective responsibility for making things better. So we've got top management support for doing things. And my experience of working with them over the last six months is good news. They, they are, they understand, they're responsive. However, we're dealing now with a department which has been culturally poorly performing for a long period of for time, which, not just five years, why, longer. Though, but why? That is the question. Well, I think what has happened in Birmingham, and I think it's credit to the existing regime, I think children's services, putting it very crudely, have been parked by the City Council. They haven't taken... It's a terrible indictment. Well, I don't think they have in the past taken full corporate responsibility as parents for these children. And that's changing, but we don't change that overnight. And what Peter Hay said in that clip of yours, that we've got to give social workers um, reasonable caseloads, is key. In other words, recruitment, you need more. You, we need more. And that's and a we problem. Need more You've got experience. 45 vacancies. Well, across the country, there are people, there are, there are authorities who've got a worse problem in Birmingham. There is a national shortage of social workers. Let's be clear about is that. Is that because the money's not good enough? It's partly money, it's partly working, c c working conditions. It's a tough this job. is a tough job. There is not a queue of people rushing to qualify as social workers and work in social work. What Birmingham has got to do, and I've been working with them on this, and I'm getting tougher and tougher about this issue, they've got to actually up the ante in terms of the offer they make to social workers. And part of that is being a reasonable employer in terms of caseload. And, and just briefly, child welfare in Birmingham, as you know, has been called a national disgrace. How long before it won't be? Well, children are, the good news is children are safer. The front door has been made safer. The bad news is that there's about 5,000 a year coming through that front door when there was only 3,000 six or seven months ago. So we've got a big problem for Birmingham. What I would say on the resources issue, which I think is very important, is that I will be saying to DFE ministers, look, if you want to improve things in Birmingham, you can't hang them out to dry financially. You've got to actually take responsibility for dealing with the extra risks that you asked me to identify. Lord Warner, thanks very much indeed. It's 16 minutes to 7. This is our top story tonight.